Wall Control 10 is Datapath's video wall management software for use on the full range of Iolite and VSN video wall controllers. It's available in both standard and pro versions. When you open the software, all Datapath video wall controllers on the network with an active Wall Control 10 license are displayed. The server properties are displayed by clicking on the name of a video wall controller. This will show the configuration of the connected video walls. Underneath the controller name are the associated video walls. Blueprint represents all of the video wall outputs as one single canvas. The other video walls are the blueprint split into multi-walls. These are named on creation. For example, clicking on Datapath Demo shows Blueprint is a 6x3 video wall, whereas the items beneath are sections of the Blueprint, a 2x3 and a 4x3 video wall. You'll require the Pro version of Wall Control 10 to create multi-walls. Wall Control 10 Help can be accessed at any time by clicking on the question mark icon located at the top right of the application. The cog icon allows you to access user settings. Here you can see the version, language and also set the default window size when sources are moved over to the wall. To connect to a video wall, left click on the relevant wall. The left hand side of the screen displays all the available sources and to the right is a representation of the wall which automatically refreshes approximately every second. You can simply drag your chosen source from the left and place it onto the video wall. Then position and resize until correct. If you wish to clear the wall, click on the large X icon at the top right of the screen. The windowed X icon will remove any templates applied to the wall. The grid icon is used to switch between the wireframe and live preview. There are two ways of adding sources to Wall Control 10, depending upon your source type. You can use the plus icon located in the source section of Wall Control 10 when you're connected to your wall. Or use the folders on the video wall controller to which Wall Control 10 is linked. Vision sources are Datapath capture card sources and will auto appear. However, these can be renamed if you wish. The plus icon can be used to add content such as SQX sources, for example, RTSP streams. Internet, for example, web pages. Remote connections, for example, Datapath Agent. Applications, other third-party applications. These are added by clicking on the plus icon, selecting your relevant source type, and then completing the required information. These folders can be located by clicking on the Wall Control 10 server icon. This can be found in the system tray and selecting the folder icon next to the relevant video wall. The folders can be used to add video, images, office documents, PDFs. These are added by opening the relevant folder and moving your content into that folder. You can create and apply templates to your wall to help you with the placement and size of the sources that you want to display. Use the Templates tab to do this. A number of default templates are automatically displayed and the plus icon can be used to create bespoke versions. These are very simple to create. Either define the number of rows and columns or draw on the canvas displayed.
To apply your template, simply drag it and drop onto the wall representation. Once sources are dragged onto the wall, they will automatically snap to the template. You may also drag a template onto a source to create a group. Once you have placed and correctly positioned your sources on the wall, they can be saved as a layout and recalled in the future. Select the Layout tab, click on Save and give your layout a name. It will now appear in the layout list below. To recall a layout, simply click on it. Carousels can be created to cycle through sources after a defined period of time. Multiple carousels can run simultaneously. There are two ways to do this. First, you place and position your first source on your wall. Right-click on it and select Toggle Carousel On. Then you drag your other sources in the order you wish them to display and place them on top of your original source. This will create a carousel with default timings. To change the length of time that each source is displayed, right-click and select Edit Carousel. The carousel information will appear towards the bottom of the screen and you can edit the duration that each window is displayed. Once you're happy, Click on Apply and the carousel will start. The alternative way to create a carousel is to tick those sources you'd like to use, then simply drag and drop the last one onto your video wall. Then right-click and choose Edit Carousel to amend the length of time it displays. Apply will save and start the carousel. You may use multiple carousels within a layout file. When a layout file is opened, all carousels will start from the beginning. Any source within Wall Control 10 can be tagged or have multiple tags, which can then be used to filter your source list when searching. To tag a source, you just have to left-click on your chosen source from the source list, select the Tags tab, click on the plus icon, enter a tag name and press Enter. You can now search for it by entering the tag in the search field and the source list also displays the relevant tags. The Wall Control 10 software allows you to manage multiple video walls, all connected to the same Datapath video wall controller. The Pro version is required for this feature. To create a multi-wall, you will need to click on the Open Wall Management icon next to the relevant video wall controller. You have two options. The first is relevant if you have already created multiple display groups 
within the Display Driver configuration tool when you set up your video wall controller. You can easily create multi walls based on these display groups by clicking on Auto Create Walls from Display Groups. The second option allows you to manually create walls by selecting Add New Wall. You can then position and size your walls using the various options such as Snap to Screen. Once you've defined your wall size and location, you need to give it a name. And you can also select an icon and colour. By default, the wall is set to Auto Start. Simply remove the tick if you don't require this option. You will be able to see and change the assigned port numbers. When updated, you can click Save New Wall. It will now appear in the list and an indicator will show that the server wall is starting. Once you close the Wall Management tab and return to the Home tab, you'll see your newly created walls alongside the original Blueprint wall. If your video wall controller doesn't automatically appear when you open Wall Control 10, then you can add it manually. Click on the plus icon at the bottom right of the home screen. Enter the name and the IP address of the controller and then click Add Server. This will show the controller, but not the associated video walls. To display these, click on the Connect to Non-Listed Wall icon and enter the name of the wall and the port number. And click Add. Your manually added wall will now appear and to connect to it, you just have to click on it. Source cropping has been introduced in Wall Control 10 1.8.0, which enables you to crop and split Vision and SQX sources. To do this, simply right-click on the relevant Vision or SQX source and select the Cropping option. You will be presented with a snapshot of the source. Within this, you can select your desired crop by either moving and resizing the rectangle or by inputting the exact pixel coordinates. You can choose whether to maintain the aspect ratio or to select your preferred one. Then name your crop. And when you're happy, click on Save. Your crop is created and the crop screen resets. Now you can choose to create another crop or to close. Once closed, your new crop appears in the Wall Control 10 source list below the original source. If you wish to delete your crop, then right click on it and select Delete Source. Choose Yes to delete the crop. To split a source into equal segments, again right click on the source and select Cropping. This time, Change to the Split option, which defaults to Quarters, as a 2x2 format. Then define your desired number of rows and columns, or select one of the default splits. Each split can be named
and clicking on Save will keep it and exit. Your newly created splits will appear in the Wall Control 10 source list beneath the original source.